Oh, thank you so much, G and Asha Dulab. On a lighter note, though, let's get festive in the kitchen. Let's create together with the Golden Baker Search Junior Edition on Espresso Morning Show. Brought to you by Golden Cloud and Beacon. If you've seen us smiling all day long, all show long, the holiday season is here. This holiday season, Golden Cloud and Beacon Treats are on the hunt for South Africa's best baking duo. It's not us, though, but it's the Golden Baker Search Junior Edition. And if you and your young one have a passion for baking, this is your chance to share it with the country. Now, we're exploring some weekly inspiration to get your creativity going. And this week, we are focusing on brownies. Now, this morning, we're feeling the festive spirit with some reindeer brownies that you can make with your kids at home. Maybe even your husband, you can get in along. We have Raul de Mornay. Am I your makeshift husband for the day? Yeah, you my I like that. husband. <laughs> I'm living in a fantasy world. <laughs> but listen, maybe, maybe I should put it out there because for some reason, whatever I say, it happens right now. So maybe this Christmas, I'll have a man cooking for me. Wow, okay. Well, I hope you've been well behaved this year and Santa blesses you. But he's definitely going to bless you with something good. And I'm going to help you put this together. Mm -hmm. And it's quite simple. I'm not a baker at all. I'm a fryer, a griller, and a cooker. Baking is like my weakness. But I just want to show you. And a nature how... boyer. Yeah. <laughs> but I just want to show how easy this actually is, all right? So I'm going to get straight into it. We're making. Okay some cute reindeers, which I'm gonna ask you for some help with a little bit later. But let's get into the dry ingredients first and then wet after. This makes it a lot easier to understand. So I'm gonna take a half a cup of our golden cloud, well, it's a cake wheat flour that we're gonna be making this with. Perfect. So pop that into the bowl, number Are one. Are you gonna be baking for Mal this year? Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Is this, is this uh, the tasters? This is, you're trying it out on me first and then yes, you yes, pass yes. You, you need to actually let me know if I should go ahead with it or maybe just uh, order something instead. Sure. <laughs> All right, I've got some no cocoa pressure. over here and then some sugar. Uh, what was that, cocoa? Yeah, co uh, cocoa. <laughs> cocoa, sugar, and then a little bit of salt. Let me just pop that in there. Break all that and then there. that's your dry ingredients done, all right? Simple as that, I can pop that out the way. And then move on over to the wet stuff. So I've got some melted butter. That's always gonna make it just that extra bit of you, greenness. Are you gonna need this goodness. egg? Because I'm seeing I am these eggs here. Yeah, like, I am. Uh, before am I, I get into that, that, vanilla essence as well, and then, this is something I want to talk about. So I've taken uh, Beacon's Heavenly Midnight Velvet Chocolate. I've melted it, and I'm going to be adding it into the ingredients right over here. Let me just... Your okay, boy is naughty, and I we know, love we're it. we're to be naughty. We've got to keep it an authentic brownie. I mean, what's a it's brownie festive. without actual chocolate in, right? It is festive. Yeah. Kids love chocolate. It's, it's a time of the year where you can just eat whatever you want. We focus on <laughs> <laughs> the calories at the end of the year, the beginning of uh, Jan. But it's just time to spend time with your family, have some beautiful treats on the table, just that warm fuzziness. I it's love it. I, I don't know why I'm so excited this year. I think maybe it's because I'm raising a toddler and he's excited about festive. He's like, Mommy, is Santa bringing me toys? I'm like, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. But listen, I need to grab those eggs from okay, you now because so I've you just do need finished it. my mix here. So you can pop that in a bowl and I'm going to add it to this. And we're pretty much like almost done. I, I, I can't help but like you just gave me so much nostalgia now when you started mentioning some of those moments. I'm just thinking of my family. I'm thinking of friends. And I know Zanzi's doing the exact same thing. These are the things that bring it all together. This is like the glue in those moments. It's not just the people you're seeing, but what you're doing with them at the same time. So it's important to get these nice treats as well. Can Did just... Auntie Dawn allow you in a kitchen? Um, you were growing up, didn't you don't allow uh, you No, because I would just irritate her and I'd be like, is it jelly? Is it jelly? Is it jelly? I'm hungry. Is it jelly? And then I would, though, always clean the dishes. My version, though, I would take the bowl and go like this. <laughs> this is exactly why Auntie Dawn cuts you out of the kitchen because you annoy us. <laughs> yeah, so she didn't want me there, so I was just banished to the outside world, which I didn't complain about because <laughs> I could pretend and play make-believe like I was some crazy hiker and... Vrrrp, Look what I've become now. Yeah, you made you yeah. made sandcakes. Eh? You made sandcakes. <laughs> Look at you from sun cookies, yeah. no market, the yellow cookies. <laughs> we love that for you. Okay, so that that batter looks beautiful, nice it and It is chocolatey. beautiful indeed. You could look. look I'm going to need a little baking tray or a dish, and I'm going to put some put, put some spray and cook on that. Uh, really simple. So I'm pretty much done with the mixture. Pop some spray and cook into that, and then I'm going to pop this into the oven once I get this mixture inside of this. Let me just show you how easy that oh, is. Look that how looks yummy that yummy. looks, eh? So I was the kid that would literally drink all of this and clean up the bowl, right? That we are, of me. course, looking for South Africa's next baking duo, the Junior Edition. It could be you, everybody. Who knows? Maybe you and your young one is feeling inspired for this festive season. 
Then you want to dye this. Look okay. at that, I'm Zan. How long does that go into the so oven? So this for? you pop straight into the oven. You're gonna go at 180, and I'm not gonna give you an exact time because this is where I think people should do it themselves. Because some of us like crispy, crunchy brownies. Okay. Some of us like that gooey inside. So you can keep checking it after 10 minutes, between 10 and 20 minutes to see exactly how Ooh. you want it. Why do I feel like that is an excuse if you don't really know the right time? <laughs> Just check. Go check every just single check. time. Just check. I don't want to brown. It's a special kind of way. Each but we're not, we're not done just yet. You've got to do the final thing for me. and Just turn these brownies into a reindeer. So after it's in the oven, it looks like that. And then we're going to again use the Midnight Velvet as a glue to attach our ears and our nose and our mouth. And I know you're going to know exactly what's going on there, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to obviously be our glue. And you can... What, what I would do is I would just put chocolate all over the basing. Because then the whole thing, you yeah. take the, the rustic feel away. Because I know you said you like the rustic feel to it. You can even turn it around. But this is where you can get the kids involved. They can lick off all the utensils. Try another double dip. <laughs> and then you can go with the ears. Yeah, I love this. Using pretzels for ears. How cool is that? That's so pretty cute. smart. And okay. then the nose. What are you going to use for that? Um, we can use a jelly tot. Yes. Jelly tot. A red nose reindeer, <laughs> Red of nose reindeer. <laughs> okay, and wait. Then... I didn't give this thing eyes. <laughs> That's okay. Well, maybe sometimes it doesn't have <laughs> eyes. So there we go, eyes. Uh, a reindeer with eyes is like a deer in a headlamp. And then... There we go. Nice. Mm -mm. I failed. I like it. No, I like Do you it. Like it's it? cute. Shame. That's cute. I love it. Use your own imagination. <laughs> Do you want to try one? Maybe I'll try one so long while you talk to the people. This is exactly why we are not the best baking duo. But maybe you at home, you're feeling inspired for the festive season. Then make sure you enter the Golden Baker Search Junior Edition. We are looking for five of the best baking duos in the country over the holiday season. So fire up those ovens and get baking. Here's how to enter. Golden Cloud and Beacon are on the search for South Africa's best baking duo this holiday season. So grab your son, daughter, grandchild, nephew or niece and start creating in the kitchen. To enter, look out for our weekly holiday baking inspiration on air and on our social pages. Then create your own special bake with Golden Cloud and Beacon treats. Take a picture and share it on the Golden Baker Search Junior Edition competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter pages or on our website using the hashtag Golden Baker Search and tell us why you are SA's best baking duo. You could be one of the five finalists competing on TV for the grand prize worth 35,000 Rand. Let's create together with the Golden Baker Search Junior Edition on Expresso Morning Show. Brought to you by Golden Cloud and Beacon. Entries close on the 18th of December. Five finalists, one winning duo to be crowned live on Expresso.